Hello, g'day, I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV on YouTube. Thanks very much for joining us as we track Tropical Cyclone Kerali. Here it is, finally, officially named last night by the Bureau of Meteorology. It doesn't get named until the winds at the middle are sustained at gale force. Um, and that's what has now happened. So the satellite map here shows some big blobs of very heavy rain as the storm is now uh, just offshore. So spinning here, category two, expected to be uh, later on today. It's category one at the moment, category two later on, and makes landfall either a category two or a strong cat one. So to some degree, that's good news. It is not at the high end of the cyclone scale, but it is still a tropical cyclone, even a category one. The reason why it has a category one is because they are damaging. So the damaging winds are in this area here. The cone that you see of what they call the cone of uncertainty shows where those damaging winds are most likely to be. So unfortunately, Townsville, smack bang, in the middle of that, we are talking about a population here with the towns combined of about a quarter of a million people. So this is a, a significant storm. Obviously, Townsville, I think you've got about 180,000 people just there alone. So not the best tracking, but at least the uh, category is dropping down as it comes in. So there is a little bit of good news in there. So uh, this is the tracking from the Bureau of Meteorology, comes in as a tropical cyclone, then falls apart, drifts all the way off um, to the Northern Territories. Here's the wind map for later on today. This is 4 p.m. Eastern time. The area with the damaging winds and the pink purple area here. So potentially just south of Townsville towards air. So it's in that zone right there that you'll be seeing the worst of those winds. Usually they are in the southern quadrant of these storms. So this is 10 o'clock in the morning before those damaging winds come in that I just showed you. So this is uh, out at sea. So this is basically, as you're watching this video now, if you're watching it in the morning, that's where it's situated. And so the worst of the wind and rain still offshore. Let's animate that for the next 24 hours. This is coming in towards later today and then coming into this evening. We think landfall will be sometime later tonight. Could move around a few hours, but this is around about 10 p.m. going in now to about midnight. So late tonight, early hours of tomorrow morning at the latest, that's when it comes in and then it finishes the last map we've got here for you in the animation that's 10 o'clock tomorrow morning friday queensland time so it's an uh, overnight storm and it is moving through at quite a good pace that is very good news that it's doing that here is friday's situation so it's now well in land 999 no longer a storm and uh, bringing in thunder storms and showers and rain as it moves in there'll be windy weather as well but it won't be as damaging as what you saw and unlike jasper there isn't this big solid line of heavy rain being stuck over the top of you afterwards so rainfall wise at this stage 150 to, to maybe 200 millimeters right there in the townsville area and then you go sort of outside of that and you're only into that 100 to 120 millimeter mark so it's hopefully not going to be as bad as it could be, but it's still very much worth keeping a close eye on because this storm is clearly moving into the central part of Australia and the, that populated part of Queensland. So that is all from me. Thank you so much for joining us for the special update. Don't forget, in Australia, please do follow the Bureau of Meteorology. They are the official source for the warnings. Um, we're happy to provide communication and help you explain it all. But for those official warnings, you do need to go to them. That is all from us. Have a great and safe rest of your day. We will catch you again next week.